Hey, what's going on guys? So I uh, got a tackle warehouse order here. Um, for those of you guys that follow me on Facebook, you probably already know what it is, but um, uh, for those of you guys that don't follow me on Facebook, uh, a couple days ago actually, I sold my, my kayak. And uh, I sold my kayak because I actually, I, I bought a new kayak. The um, This is something that I've been talking about for about a year or so now. I've been uh, trying to get a, a new one and I finally went ahead and pulled the trigger on it. and. Uh, and got a new one and it's uh, gonna be here in a couple days. So uh, when I sold my old kayak, um, I sold it with everything that was attached to it. Um, and so I had to get a new uh, a new depth finder for it. So um, so that's what's in here. Uh, I got a couple other little things for you, but uh, just kind of wanted to show you guys the, uh, the, the depth finder and what it was about. So I'll go ahead and show it to you here. Got our uh, Tiger Warehouse t-shirt here. Um, let's see. Go ahead and pull this bad boy out for you guys. All right, so there it is, you guys. This is the, um, you guys remember on my old depth finder, I had a Lawrence Elite 5X, or excuse me, an Elite 4X. Now this is the Elite 5 HDI. This is the hybrid dual imaging. So what you have is you have you have sonar. So you have the traditional sonar, which is what my my 4X had, but that was it. And it was on a, a little like three and a half inch screen or whatever. This is like the I, I think it's the five inch screen or something like that. I don't know. It's it's a it's a bigger screen. It's the other one was a small rectangle, kind of like a cell phone, and then this one is a, a, a bigger square. So so it's a bigger screen. It also has the sonar, or the other, my 4X was exclusively sonar, but this one also has uh, GPX with an upgradable Navionics, so you can put a Navionics chip right here in this port, and then it's also got the downscan imaging, so it's got two different styles of imaging here, um, and then it's, so this, this sonar imaging is better for finding, um, uh, for finding, like, shad and stuff like that or if you want to find a uh, better bottom contact but it, this is something that's neat because this will actually um the, the sonar is a little bit more useful uh the traditional sonar but the downscan imaging uh was something that i wanted because when you're looking at stuff like uh when you're looking like at a stump or something like that you can make them out on the sonar but a stump on downscan imaging looks like a stump so it paints an, uh, a better picture it has a um what is it like a higher Hertz rate? So it sends more more signal faster down to the bottom with this. So it's um, it just paints a clearer picture of what you're looking at. Uh, you can see here in the example. Let's see if I can focus. You, you can see here in the example that the, these are both supposed to be like the same image, where this one just kind of looks like a couple humps, and then this one kind of paints a clearer picture, and then you can actually see some fish, these little dots hanging around them where these arches here, these are the fish, and they're a lot more clear, and the dots on the downscan imaging are not as clear. You have to kind of discern them a little bit. Uh, they're a little bit harder to discern uh, but make, to make them out as fish. So, But you can tell what, these, what this bottom stuff is down here. So it's just another way to kind of help you out while you're on the water, and then the GPS thing is cool. I fish a lot of ponds, so the GPS thing is not going to be a huge improvement for me, but I do uh, I do fish at, at some of these bigger lakes in my area. I actually fish there quite a bit. I fish at like uh, like Whiskey Town and stuff, and uh, and even Shasta. And I'm gonna hope to get out there a little bit more uh, this spring and later in the fall. Not so much in the summertime because it's really busy out there in the summertime, and uh, and pond fishing is a little bit better in the in the summertime uh, for catching like the largemouth and stuff like that for frogs and all that stuff. So. Uh, I'll go ahead and take it out of the box for you guys. Actually, I don't need the knife. Um, just to kind of give you guys an idea of what this looks like. Um, it's a really nice unit. It's, let me see, where's the... I don't know where the thing is, but the, 
uh, it's like four ninety nine for this unit, so it's it's not a bad price at all. So, um, so here it is. Here's the expandable unit thing that I was telling you about, where you can put your micro SD cards and stuff like that in there, so you can do the expandable like the uh, like the Navionics chip or I think uh, what are they Lake Maps or something like that is the other one that that they're called. But it's just a, a very nice unit. I have a I'm not going to be using the the mount that it comes with, I actually bought a, a different mount for it. I bought a, a, a RAM mount for the kayak, and that's actually going to be here in a couple days. So I won't be using the traditional um, uh, forward and aft swivel mount that, that it comes with. But uh, just a really nice unit here, and, uh, and it should be a large upgrade for me on the, on the bigger kayak that I'm going to be getting. So, so there's that. <clears throat> and so for those of you guys that want to see it, here's the transducer. It's a little bit bigger, a um, little bit flatter, a little bit wider here. It's obviously going to hold two different styles of, uh, of uh, uh, sonar transducers in here because you have the down scan imaging and you also have the uh, traditional sonar. So, so there's that. So I just wanted to show you guys what that was all about. Very cool. Um, I also got... Uh, I got a sun cover. My Elite 4X, when I did, I didn't have a, a a sun cover for it. And I'll tell you what, these things get beat up pretty fast. My uh, my sun uh, or my my Elite 4X was in really really good shape uh, when I sold the kayak, but uh, I, I had seriously started contemplating getting a sun cover for it because. It started getting uh, some uh, some sun marks and stuff like that on it. You can tell the plastic was starting to get starting to get tired. And I have uh, the summers around here in my area are extremely harsh. I mean, we get up into the high 100 and teens degrees, like 117 degrees. We got up to last year. So so there's the sun cover for it. Uh, that'll just kind of help it keep when I'm when it's not in use. Kind of kind of keep it in uh, in good working order and. Uh, looking nice when I'm not using it. So uh, there's that. I also, uh, while I was there at Tackle Warehouse, I had to pick some of these up because they had just got them in. These are the Reaction Innovations Vixens. Um, I had to get them because it's something that I've, I've really was desired, I really desired having these Vixens um, uh, before they came back. And I seriously contemplated on buying them off of like eBay and stuff like that, but they wanted the ones that were on eBay for like 50 bucks. And um, uh, some say that that these are a little bit different, but I think the general consensus is that the bait is pretty much the same. The paint job might be slightly different, but for the most part, it's the same Vixen as before. Um, so I'm really excited to have these. These are about 15 bucks and uh, just a really nice walk the dog style bait. So uh, very happy to very happy to have these uh, uh, pretty much the same uh, I think this was the original but I I think these are pretty much the same as the River to Sea Rover and the Paycheck Baits uh, Repo Man or not the Repo Man is it the Repo Man um, I, I can't remember which one it is but anyway um, but I think that this was the original one so uh, I think that those ones were a take off of the, these ones in fact the the Paycheck Baits one, um, that one I think was a deal w between uh, Andre at Reaction Innovations to uh, to Paycheck for them to make the the bait once these guys discontinued their making their their Vixen. So anyway, um, I'll, I'll go into that a little bit more when I review it and stuff and tell you guys a little bit what I know about the bait. But it's pretty exciting. There's some. Uh, uh, a, a very desirable bait amongst um, some snobby anglers out there that really like this bait. So, so that's what I got you guys. Um, got the Elite 5 HDI. I'll be installing that on the Yak as soon as it gets here. And then uh, got the, the or not the River to Sea, but the Reaction Innovations Vixens. Hope you guys like the video. If you guys like the video, please hit the like button down there in the lower left corner. Really appreciate that. And I'll have a, a couple more things coming at you this week. Um, it's going to be a big week for the channel because I got the kayak coming in and uh, obviously you got the depth finder and then I got a couple of, I got a rod and reel combo coming in. I, I got a couple things coming in, so it should be a fun week and uh, just gearing up for, for pre-spawn. I've already been out for pre-spawn. I've, I've already caught a few nice fish out there. Um, uh, I caught a really nice four pounder on a bed. 
like two weeks ago. So it's it's been really a lot of fun. It's gonna get uh it's gonna get better, especially in my area um, for the pre spawn and moving into the spawn. So thanks a lot, guys, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.